hey hey it's jacar lewis here with some study tips on how to pass the t7 straight from my t7 math workbook tip number one don't overthink the test it's just a test i know how stressful it can be preparing for this exam but mentally you have to be in the space to understand that the t's exam is just one cobblestone on your road to becoming a nurse so do not allow it to defeat you take your time invest in preparing properly and do what you need to do to make it one step closer to your dream but the tease is just a test do not i repeat do not allow it to stress you out tip number two master the content don't try to skip the part of actually learning the material take your time and master it because Preparing for your T's exam is going to help you to understand what works for you in terms of studying once you get into nursing school and then further into your NCLEX. Don't try to skip the hard work. It's necessary to build and prepare you. So master the content, learn the content, practice the content because that's one of the easiest ways for you to master it. Tip number three manage your time it's so important to dedicate the time to preparing for your t's exam i know a lot of you guys may be on time constraints you may have other classes that you're working on of course you may have work you may have kids your spouses significant others and i definitely understand that but you have to remember that nursing school is a really big commitment and this time in preparing for the t's test is giving you a small preview as to how that's going to happen so manage your time well dedicate time make a schedule and be consistent with it because the consistency is what's going to produce the growth for you so tip number three manage that time tip number four be honest with yourself i know how frustrating it can be if you're spending hours and hours studying and you're not progressing but you're trying to convince yourself that you're progressing that's the worst thing that you can do Anytime you hit a roadblock, you always want to assess what the issue is and you want to try to figure out how to address it and fix it. But you never want to convince yourself that because you spend X amount of money on resources or X amount of hours on studying that you're doing really great and you're not doing great because you're always going to do yourself a disservice. So it's okay if you're having a hard time because that gives you the opportunity to improve, to make adjustments and to be better. But please be honest with yourself. If you're not dedicating the time, be honest with yourself. If you're not understanding the material, be honest with yourself. If you need help, be honest with yourself. Tip number four. Tip number five, you always want to test, 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 test yourself as much as possible. Anytime you start a topic and you're learning and you're practicing, once you feel like you're in a good spot, you always want to test yourself. And you can do a short quiz of 10 questions. You can do a practice exam that's designed around the real exam. But you always want to test yourself because you want to have a clear idea as to where you are. So if you have any weaknesses, you can always address those and you're not basing your progress on how you feel. You have the actual data to support it. Tip number five. Tip number six, which is my favorite and the most important tip, which is to never give up. The road to nursing is going to be hard and it's going to be long and it's going to be frustrating. But if you truly believe that nursing is your gift, it's your calling, do not allow any of it to defeat you. No matter if you have to test two or three or four times, if you know and you believe that this is for you, then it will happen in the time that it is meant for you. So work hard, study Study hard, dedicate the time, do what you need to do to get to your goal. But no matter what happens, no matter how hard it gets, no matter how much you have to cry, never, ever, ever give up. You always, always, always want to keep pushing towards your dream. Tip number six, never under any circumstances give up. And those are some study tips from me to you guys while preparing for the T's exam straight from my T7 math workbook. So if you're ready to take that next step towards your dream of nursing and you are struggling with the math or even if you need to brush up on your math skills, this is the best and the only resource that you need to blow the math portion of the T's test out of the water. So many blessings to you guys. Good luck on your journey. Run, don't walk to the link below and grab your copy to get started.